did it my way. Black ball from the game, come and catch the way. But you know my damn fall, gotta stay ahead. Don't just cut me off, bitch, just hang by. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Johnny Dunn 7, and we back with another one. VV Vlog Pod number five. Today, we had the NFT Summit. Our leader, David Yu, he went and spoke. And basically, he went and spoke about what an NFT was. Shout out to Kyle Wilson. He streamed it. He had a good live stream. And shout out to Jake Gagan. He had a good uh, live stream as well. And basically, there's a few other people in there from other companies. And David definitely had a good piece there. Uh, he spoke a few different times, basically the whole time. And at first, he was just describing basically what an NFT was to a lot of people. And if you guys haven't noticed, this is my Ritmo from Toki Doki. Now, this one is so special because I wish I had more of these, man. There's, this is the first animated NFT ever on VV. Before I get into the NFT summit, I'm going to explain a little bit about Ritmo. There's only, I think, 17 or 1,500 of these ever. It's the first animated ever on VV. It's huge. It's going to be a big piece. It's dreadlocked. I love dreadlocks. <laughs> and I think it's like the Pikachu. And back to the NFT summit. I just wanted to have it there because... I think it's pretty cool to show off, you know, your NFTs that you actually own. And basically, the NFT Summit, David Yu went and spoke about what an NFT was, why VV is so important, what it can bring. Um, and so I want to explain basically what an NFT is to people who aren't really sure, basically. Because I have a big audience. Not really so much big yet, but it's a wide range of audience. Everybody's been, everybody's, you know from all different places it's been an unbelievable journey shout out to everybody from day one who's been following me um through the music through the golf through everything um through the streaming it's been just an incredible journey so i appreciate everybody we finally hit over 1k so it's been a big achievement trying to get to 2k let's go um the vv fam has been a great ride so far you guys been a ton of support and basically i just want to go over what an nft is and why it's valuable nft is a non-fungible token it basically means it can't be it can't be replicated and it proves ownership and it authenticates things showing like real proof that you own it meaning it shows that i own this ritmo and it shows that there's only 17 or 1500 of them ever minted and it shows that to the blockchain and what the blockchain is it's a transparent ledger that shows it can't be changed so basically when you're collecting physical cards or physical items, you have to send it to a company called PSA and they authenticate it or they verify that you own it and it's, it's real and they grade it saying it's like 100%, you know, just accurate. They authenticate it. And that's what the blockchain does. And the blockchain does it instantly on the internet. And PSA can take up to 12 months. And so if you have a physical card and you want to get it authenticated, you have to send it to PSA and they mail it back to you 12 months later. And so what the blockchain does, what Vivi does, you can trade and sell collectibles instantly through the blockchain. And it's in an app and it's so easy to use. You don't even have to understand crypto or blockchain. It just does it behind the scenes. So I think it's just poised perfectly for mass market adoption. And there's going to be so many NFT platforms that pop up. I think some are going to thrive. Some are going to survive. And I think a lot of them just aren't going to make it. I think it's just going to be, you know, too much saturation eventually. And I think what's, you're going to have to separate yourself. And I think VV, you can think about it like when the dot-com boom happened. There's www. There's so many different websites, you know what I mean? There's, you can think of it like there's Ask Jeeves, there's Google, there's Yahoo. And VV is the Google. <laughs> and the, the reason why I think VV is the Google is because VV's got IP, they got a hundred different brands, major brands, and they got social media inside the app. So not only is it for collecting, there's like a social media aspect to it. You can follow, you can like, you can comment. And so imagine an eBay, a Netflix, a Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, everything's combined into one app. And the not only that, the, the, the founders, David Yu, Dan Crullers, the people that are involved, like Alfred Kahn, like once you start researching who these people are and shout out to Reese and Trevor, like all these people, it's just a, it's a dream team. And so when you're investing in things, this is not financial advice. Typically, people say you want to invest in people you believe in. And it's so true. You, you don't have to you don't have to worry like you can just you're you're in good hands basically like all these opportunities 
where the price is low, when it dips, those seem like opportunities to people who believe in the company. The people who haven't done the research yet, the dips might scare them because they're like, oh, the price is dropping, but they just may not understand why. And so once you do your research on it, never trust anybody else. Don't even trust me. Don't trust my word. Don't take my word for it. I want you to look it up, research it. And so that's basically what an NFT is. Um, long story long. <laughs> But I wanted to really explain it because I have a whole bunch of different followers from all different places. So some people may not understand it. Some people may be a pro on it now. But that's what an NFT is. That's basically what David Yu was describing it and basically why VV is so important. And you can you can see here, I'm going to show you guys real quick. I'm going to bring up the screen. You can hear him talk about another key part. I think it's who owned the collectible before you, meaning if a celebrity owned it or if somebody very important owned it or even somebody who was one of the first people on the VV app who owned it. Imagine getting a collectible owned by David or Reese or Trevor, or anybody but part of the team or I'm thinking long term, like even all of us early adopters, like imagine getting a collectible in a year or two now from an early adopter, like that's got to be worth a little bit more. So he talks about it on this clip. I'll roll it right here. Quite important. So, for example, if I own a digital collectible that was once owned by a celebrity or a super famous star and is shown on somewhere in the blockchain or uh, some sort of creation is proof it's being held by these people, it adds new intrinsic value and good wills to it. And these own all right, y'all. So you guys heard it from David owning it probably from like a celebrity or famous person is probably going to even increase the value even more. I'm thinking even early adopters. That's why I was happy to get in all of us shout out there. All the OGs listening. I think when in a year or two, when, you know, this gets massively adopted, there's millions on the app, getting a collectible from somebody who had the early vision, I think it could definitely increase the value. And as you guys can see here, this is my Ultraman secret rare. There is only, I think 3,500 of these, could be wrong on that i'm not positive but you couldn't buy this in the store it was only given to people and the people that they were given to they had like some kind of transaction error so it was one of those easter eggs where people who end up not being able to purchase what they wanted they gifted them the secret rare ultraman poster it's one of the first easter eggs that happened and also the crazy thing about this ultraman poster is it's serial number 1953 and shout out to my pops that's when he was born but not only that what makes this so crazy is the actor that played ultraman he was born in 1953 too so i think this is going to be a huge piece and the fact that again it's an augmented reality is just unbelievable to me that you can now take videos with the, the collectibles that you own i think it's truly just groundbreaking so here's a clip from the same summit of david Yu getting asked when pokemon roll it <laughs> when pokemon <laughs> yeah uh, listen uh, I, I think um these brand owners thanks um, danny uh, but and by the way we we have a whole team work on licensing and there are thousands of brands out in the world uh, most of these brands uh they go through a huge list of complexity internally through legals through every rough of things um, and we are under extreme very tight NDA with all our brand <laughs> owners and vendors um, yeah I mean we love every brand to be participating in what we do so you guys heard it David just start cracking up you could see it on his smile you could see it in his laugh I don't think they would have an NDA with a company if they didn't have an agreement you know like I think that he's doing his best to kind of appease both people. You know, the he can't break any rules. He can't, you know, give away that we have the Pokemon license for a couple of reasons. He's not going to, one, do that to the brand. He's not going to do that to Pokemon. And two, the app's not ready for it. Like, imagine if 10 million users just came on the app today. 10 million users would be unhappy and mad that it's not working right. Like, it's too big. So just give it time. It's funny to play games. I think they have every big license. I think they have Star Wars. I think they will roll out Pokemon. Probably not till next year. Who knows? Uh, maybe not for another year. Maybe sooner. Um, but I think we have every big license. I think Spider Man. I think. I think we have everything. I think eventually Nickelodeon. Like literally every big name. 
Louis Vuitton, like name cause as a street artist. I think we have every big name. Um, if you guys haven't seen, here's my dragon girl only 888 in the world. I think this is my favorite VV collectible. This is the, the floor is now just about $2,000. There's less than a thousand of these. I think this is going to be a hundred thousand dollars eventually easily. Um, Within two years, I think we can easily see. It. I think it might even increase within a year, maybe to like ten thousand, twenty thousand dollar floor, way quicker than people think. I think once the Omega gem transfer happens, I think you know once we go into Open C, this thing is just gonna blow people out of the water. I'm not selling for a while. I got two of them, um, but it's just amazing technology. Like I own this. This is done by the Toki Doki artist, the founder. Um, unbelievable silver and gold dragon girl just looks incredible <laughs> so happy to have two i bought one in the secondary market um probably for too much but i mean now it looks like a steal i could sell it for easily double than what i paid so i mean it's a great deal i got the first one i got um on the drop day for retail price for 100 bucks so <laughs> unbelievable i got one for 100 bucks and then the second one i paid for 900 bucks in the marketplace um, but I got this a while ago. I think this is one of the most valuable collectibles on the VV app. It's the first collectible with the artist alley. And so you, you can expect some pretty big names to be on here. And this is the first one. So huge deal. So happy about it. Appreciate y'all tune in next time. VV vlog pot number five. We out your boy, Johnny Dunn seven. Before I end it, wanted to add this note. Ritmo was too good of a collectible, too, you know, valuable. It just means way too much. The first animated ever by Tokidoki, which is the first licensed Vivi ever had. So to do it justice, to pay its respect, had to do another appearance with it, made it look absolutely perfect. The last, you know, video, visual, didn't really do its justice. It wasn't in the perfect, you know, screen. It was a little low. Had to do its justice. Appreciate you all for tuning in. It's your boy, Johnny Dunn 7 We out. Hope this inspires a lot of people. I think this is just the beginning. Imagine YouTubers all around the world who have a huge collection of different NFTs that they actually own. They can now portray in all their videos. Music videos are coming soon. Appreciate y'all. Johnny Dunn 7 We out. Your boy.